I don't even want to do this. This this has to be the stupidest game ever. Like I know games that are designed for like kids that are like nine months old that are better than this. I don't even care. I'm just... I had to endure it. You guys got to endure it. So here we go. WCW Super Slam card game. Great grappling action. Look at this. I mean, seriously. You see how small that is? Like, I really thought that there was like a WCW game out there. It's a card game. It's not, it's not even a card game. It's not like, dude, Solitary is better than this game. Go Fish is better than this game. War is better than this game. I, I have nothing else to say. I, let's cut to the card player, whatever the fuck this is. I really don't want to do this. Oh, whatever. Okay, this is Super Slam, card game, great grappling action, whatever. So it says Thus Things, favorite hold. It's it's not Thus Thing, it's... I don't even know what to say. This, it's just, there's so many mistakes about this game that it's, it's really not a game. And there's no QA process here at all. Um, if you see right there, they're telling you that they're lying to you. See that line in a triangle? It also says, please keep this package for future reference. Um, they wanted you to keep this because they wanted you to know how stupid you were. And if you look at Sting's face, look at both of his eyes. One of them looks like it's okay the other one looks like it's like rolled up the back of his head so yeah keep it for future reference that thing is horrible you open this up it's got bigger rules than most board games do double side and I mean it's kind of small print as you can see here there's a big gap so when it's in there, these, these cards just move around constantly. But they wanted you to, what is this? A QA sticker, really? Wow. I'm, I stand corrected, this was QA actually. In the instructions, it tells you what the contents are. And it tells you there's rules in a plastic card tray. Just in case you didn't know. Wrestling during that time period, um, you had glue action figures. There was 12 of them, consisted of Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, Barry Windham, Sid Vicious, Sting, Lex Luger, Doom, which was Ron Simmons and Butch Reed, Scott and Rick Steiner, Z-Man Tom Zink, and Flying Ryan. Now, all those people are on here except for Ron Simmons and Butch Reed. I'm not sure why, but maybe Hulk Hogan was... Um, had something to do with that. Don't know. So it has different parts to this. Um, we're gonna look at that real quick. They have height and weight, hometown, favorite holds, faithful right holds, toughest opponents, greatest achievement, motto, and then just a random thing. If you are a powerful member of the Four Horsemen or if you were in a tag team, it, it tells you down here about it. Ric Flair, it says that he was his greatest achievement was becoming the six-time WCW world champion. Now, if you watch wrestling back then, um, which I do, it was the NWA championship. So, that's a lie. Arn Anderson. He's, a po he's also a powerful member of the Four Horsemen, just like Ric Flair. So, he won the TV title. That was one of the greatest things, and then being a four member of the Four Horsemen. Barry Windham. Greatest achievement was winning the U.S. Heavyweight Championship, and he was a powerful member of the Four Horsemen. Sid Vicious, greatest achievement. Becoming a member of the Four Horsemen. I don't know, again, if 
you guys have watched wrestling back then. Um, but Sid Vicious was a, a pretty big player in both WCW and in WWF. Uh, his motto was, you can run, but you can't hide. Scott Steiner and Rick Steiner. They didn't get this right. Because Scott Steiner, his greatest achievement was winning the World Tag Team Belts. Rick Steiner, who he won those World Tag Team Belts with, his greatest achievement was winning the World Tag Team Championship Belts. I know it means the same thing, but I mean, if you got the S's right on favorite holds or hold, then why couldn't, or favorite right, why couldn't you get that right? I'm not really sure, but whatever. Let's move on to Sting. Now Sting, it looks like they took a picture of him when he was on the potty. Lex Luger, motto, total package, that about says it all. Brian Pillman, he's a pretty happy guy. And him and uh, Tom Zink here were tag team champions, actually US tag team champions. And the same thing as the Steiner brothers. One of them says US tag team belt, the other one says US tag team championship belts, but whatever. So flying Brian here, his motto is, it's not the size of the dog in the fight that matters, but the size of the, f okay, okay. Wow, it could have been worded a little bit differently than that. Just saying that a small people have big fight in them and whatever. Tom Zink, Z-Man. Look at that face. Just look at it. He does not want to be any part of this at all. You know what he wants to do? Make porn. And you know how I know he wants to go make porn? His motto. It's the only one that actually, it's not a saying, it's actually a lifestyle. His motto is, stay single. It's kind of like, they just went up to these people and they said, hey, Tom Zink, or whatever your real name is, what did you do yesterday? That was an accomplishment. I stayed single. His motto is, stay single. Misspellings, bad pictures, bad design. Okay, you guys saw it. There's there's no point in this game. Now, I, I want to point out some stuff because you can see that I don't like the game. I'm very disappointed about the game. The game makes me very sad. Um, but I want to point out a couple things. This is 1991. I don't know if you guys know about the Gloob figure line. That was a really good figure line. It had some great people on it. Um, there's a little problem with this game. The same time period, the exact same time period that Gloob came out with this great toy line, this was made. Why is Doom not on here? Why? They were superstars. Maybe because it was made in the UK. I don't know, because Gloob also had a toy line for the UK version. They had different color uniforms for Rick and Scott Steiner. They had a whole different sting. There was different colors for Ric Flair. There was actually Ellie Gande. There was some other people that we didn't even know about in the States at the time frame. So I'm thinking like, if their people are better for their figure line, this game has got to be great. This is why WCW never made a damn game back then in the United States. This is what they came up with. They gave their rights to these people who went out of business, thank God. But you know what's funny? To my knowledge, 
This is the only WCW game ever. This is why WCW went out of business too. Seriously, you cannot have a huge organization like you had and not have a good game. Like the WWF games, yeah, they were horrible, but they weren't that bad that you just want to pull your hair out. This game is pointless. And I hate to even do this to you guys, but if, if you really want this copy, this copy, if you really want this, the one I'm reviewing, please go to www.comickitchen.com and buy this piece of shit. Because I don't want it taking up any storage space at all in my house. And if you like it, I feel bad for you. But that's all I got to say. Like the video. Subscribe. Share. Comment. If anybody knows why WCW made this game at all. Peace.